Hello, I'm Veronica, and I'd like to welcome you back to my series, 31 Days to Better Photoshop Design. Today, I am going to be giving you a really short tutorial on how to set up the Rule of Thirds guide in Photoshop. To access your grid, you would go to View, Show, and then Check Grid. And by default, you will have a grid that looks very similar to this. And I'll zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. All right, so you can change this grid any way that you want it to appear. And to do that, all you need to do is go here to Edit, Preferences. It's a little bit different on a Mac, so you would just go to Preferences to find this, but it isn't under Edit. Okay, so go to Preferences and then Guides, Grid, and Slices. And then here you can see you have some options for changing your guides. We're not going to be changing the guide or the smart guides. We are going to be working with the grid, which is found right here. So as you can see, it's set up to custom. And then it is going to, every 25.4 millimeters, place a line every four subdivisions. And we're going to change that. What I like to do is first off change my color. You can do that or you can leave it as it is. Um, I like to change mine to a really light gray because I find it a lot more subtle and easier to work with. But if that didn't show up well on the image I was working on, I'd of course come in and change the color. Okay, so we are going to change the millimeter to percent and then you can see how it instantly changed. It changed the color as well as the spacing of the grid because now it's every 1%. We're going to change this every 100%. We are going to place a line and you could change this from lines to dashed lines to dots. I like to leave it at lines. That works perfectly well for me. And then we are going to place a subdivision every three. And then we're just going to click OK. And now you can see I have a rule of thirds grid set up. And on your rule of thirds grid, what you have is four intersecting points right here in the center. And you want to try and place key elements at any one of these intersecting points. You can also use your horizon lines, the top or the bottom, to line elements up and help to compose your design. And that is how you set up your rule of thirds grid in Photoshop. If you want to disable your grid, you just go here to view and you can either click off extras and it will turn the extras off. But if you're using other extras, then you may want to leave that on. And instead of turning off extras, you'll just go to show and then uncheck grid. And that's it. That's how to set up and use the rule of thirds in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, if you did, remember, share, like, and subscribe. We'll see you back next time. Thanks for tuning in.